Okay, guys, we are back for part two. This is uh, continuing for uh, Wednesday, May the 13th, 2020. And this is still Ventures Level 2, uh, Unit A on work. Um, there's all my information if you need to reach me. And we're going to, you can uh, pause the video and write any of that down because I'm going to scroll so we can have room to um, write. Um, our answers. Okay, so uh, let's start back on page 106 of your student book. We still need to answer part B. Uh, solve the problem. Which solution is best? Circle your opinion. Now this is just opinion, so there's really no right or wrong answer, but there are better answers than others. Let's say it that way. Okay, so Laura worked for 37 hours last week but the company only paid her for 35 hours. What should she do? Okay, she worked 37, but she only got paid for 35. So she's missing uh, two hours of pay. So the first one, should she, one, call the manager, two, wait till next month to see if the two hours are on her check, number three, do nothing, or number four, an, um, answers will vary. Well, I can guarantee that if you wait till next month, you're probably not gonna see that money on your check. So number two is probably not a good option. Um, number three, if you do nothing, then you're still probably not gonna get paid for those two hours. I would choose, I would say option, um, one is your best option to go ahead and notify your manager and uh, bring in the uh, pay stub part of your check that shows the hours that you worked and your pay rate and how much you got paid. And, uh, and compare that with either your time card or your time sheet, however you uh, manage your time and show that to the manager, okay? So that finishes up page 106 of, uh, of the student book. Now I want you to go ahead and get out your workbooks. This is the one that we usually use for homework, and we're going to start on page 100. I'm going to go ahead and make myself small down here in the bottom of the screen <clears throat> so that uh, we can start typing up some answers here. Okay, so we're going to read the job ads and write the words and start each word with a capital letter. Okay, so uh, these are our vocabulary words for the unit that we've been going over, but let's um, practice them again. I will say them and you can repeat after me. Auto mechanic. Auto mechanic. Bus person. Bus person. Cashier. Cashier. Construction worker, construction worker, medical assistant, medical assistant, orderly, orderly. Okay, we should be getting to know those uh, that vocabulary pretty well by now. We've used it several times. So number one says, um, they help patients walk, they take patients for x-rays, they deliver x-rays and mail, they help nurses, they talk to patients, but there's no experience necessary. So uh, they've already given you the answer, that's an orderly. And remember, there's no experience necessary or anything like that because they are not medical professionals. They work at the hospital, but they don't have to have an education in a medical field to do their job. Okay, so let's look at number two. You will need to handle, handle money, use the cash register, know basic math, be friendly with customers, and be on time. Restaurant experience necessary. Okay, so which person does that sound most like out of our choices? Let's go for um, cashier, remember? That, uh, they asked us to um, capitalize these because they start at the beginning of the sentences. So number three, let's read it. If you have two years of experience, built, you will need to have two years of experience building houses, need a driver's license, 
and need to be able to work alone. That sounds most like the construction worker. Once again, we are um, going to capitalize that and we're going to look at number, oops, number uh, four. Medical office needs friendly worker. Assist doctor and take care of office. Experience or medical uh, cert, uh, certificate needed. So that most sounds like our medical assistant. Okay. Once again, we um, we have uh, capitalized that at the beginning of the sentence, and we're going to start now with number five. A busy car repair shop needs a worker. Experience with American and foreign cars useful. Five years of experience necessary. That's the auto mechanic. Okay, and the last one. New restaurant needs worker to clear and clean tables. No experience necessary. Need to work fast. And that's going to be your best person because they are the ones who um, work in the restaurants. Okay? So there's your answers for part one. Um, go ahead and make note of those if you need to make any corrections. And uh, once you've done that, go ahead and stop the video and complete part two and come back and we will uh, check that together. Okay, so you should have completed um, part two, and um, there these are just uh, sentences that help describe the workers, and we're going to use the uh, job uh, titles that we just used in part one <clears throat> for these. So um, number one says, I am friendly and I like to help people. So that would be an orderly. They have that listed as an orderly. I think that could be a cashier too, but hey, they said orderly. Number two says, I like to use tools and machines. That's your construction worker. All right. They're the only ones in our list that um, we talked about using um, large machines. Number three, I can handle money and I like math. Um, that describes our cashier. Number four says, I repaired cars for seven years. That's an auto mechanic They because re they repair, it says, uh, domestic and foreign cars. Right. Number five, I cleared tables in a restaurant last year. Who works in the restaurant? The best person. Well, remember, a best person... Um, they are the people that after you're finished eating, they come get all your dirty dishes and wipe down the tables and get it ready for the next customers, okay? Number six, I like to work alone. That's a construction worker. I mean, some, I uh, think uh, more than like to work alone, I think you just need to be able to work alone because on some job sites, you can be alone or sometimes you can be with other people. But um, we know it's, um, for this instance, it's work alone because it actually said that on the job title, um, the job ad. It said need to be able to work alone, okay? Number seven, I have a medical assistant certificate. So that's the medical assistant. Remember, the uh, orderly does not have a medical um, a education, the medical assistant does, okay? And number eight, I can work fast. That's again, the best person because in the uh, ad, they, uh, the last sentence of the best person, they requested that they need to work fast. All right, so that's your answers for part two of uh, page 100. Go ahead and stop the video if you need to make any corrections, and then uh, come back and we will um, 
start on page 101. Okay, we're starting a new skill on page 101. This is something that we haven't covered before. We haven't you can and can't, could and couldn't. Okay, so could and couldn't are talking about um, in the past, okay? And can and can't are talking about what you can do now, okay? So could and couldn't. refer to the past and can and can't are things that are happening now what you can do now okay so um that's why we see like um we see a girl danny we see a picture of her young and then we see a picture of her older and the first uh sorry the second column says 10 years ago so for that column, anything we're describing, we're going to use could and couldn't. And then we see a column that says now, and any skill that we're describing, we're going to use can and can't. Okay, so the first column has all of the different things that she, um, different skills for her. So let's look at number one. Danny couldn't cook 10 years ago, but she can cook now. So if we look at cook, it says 10 years ago, no. So that's negative. So we're going to use couldn't, okay? But she can cook now under, now we see cook and yes. So she can, it's positive, okay? So let's do number two together. Danny could dance 10 years ago because go to dance follow it over 10 years ago it says yes but she can she dance now no she can't because it says no okay so it's gonna say Danny could dance 10 years ago but she can't dance now now what I would like for you to do is go ahead and now that I've explained it stop the video do uh, three through eight on your own and come back and we can check our answers uh, together. All right. So you should have already completed um, part three, so we can go over them together. Uh, Danny, let's look at drive. Ten years ago, she couldn't. Right? Because it says no. Couldn't drive ten years ago. And she can't drive now because it still says no. She couldn't drive 10 years ago. She can't drive now. Okay. Number four, Danny, does it run fast? Can she run fast 10 years ago? She could. Run fast 10 years ago. Can she run fast now? No, she can't. Right? Danny could, right, play the piano 10 years ago, and she can play the piano now. Danny couldn't uh, read English 10 years ago, but she can read English now. She's going to her English class and doing her work. Are you all doing your work? I don't know. <laughs> Danny couldn't. But we'll find out when we come back to class, I bet. Uh, couldn't speak English 10 years ago, but she can speak English now. Last one, number eight. Danny couldn't take care of a family 10 years ago, but she can take care of a family now. Okay, what I would suggest is that you, obviously, you uh, stop the video and make any corrections, but I would also uh, go back and read those aloud, and that will give you practice with your reading and your fluency, um, because this is a, a completely new um, a topic for us, so I would just um, spend the time to get that extra, extra practice in. So after you've done that, come back and um, 
we'll finish up. Okay, I was I found this and I just wanted to give us a little more practice on can and can't, could and couldn't. So um, we're going to complete these conversations. Now be mindful that uh, because I'm showing you a worksheet, I can't type. So you're going to have to listen for the answers. So what can you do? Your choices were can and could. Okay, what can you do? I can repair cars, but before I couldn't. So can is what they can do right now. Right now, I can repair cars. In the past, it's in the past, I couldn't. Because it says, but before, I couldn't. So when it says, um, but before, that means it's in the past. Okay, number two, what can or could you do before? What could you do before? Because we're talking about the past, right? So we're going to talk about the past again. I could repair bicycles. So I could repair bicycles. Um, I can't or couldn't play the guitar before. So that's talking about the past. So I couldn't play the guitar before, but now, talking about the present, now I can. So I couldn't play the guitar before, but now I can. That's great. I can or could play the guitar too. So we're talking about the present. So it's I can play the guitar too. Ten years ago, I can or could work all day. So ten years ago is the past. So we're going to use the word could. So ten years ago, I could work all day. Now, that's the present. Now, I can only work half a day. Maybe that's better. Okay, so there's you, um, hopefully a little more practice into can and could and uh, could and couldn't. So remember that could and couldn't are talking about past, what you did in the past, and can and can't are talking about the things that you do right now. Uh, so we're, uh, if you use those words, you were talking about um, the present. Okay, so um, a little bit more uh, practice with writing with can and can't, could and couldn't. When we're, we're using it in uh, conjunction with the job skills. So it says, what job skills could you do five or ten years ago? So the skills that you had five years ago may be different than the skills you have now because you've gotten more training or you've went to school or you've just been uh, doing it longer. So what uh, job skills could I do uh, five or ten years ago? That was when I was a, a mental health therapist. So um the job skills I would have then were individual and family therapy, um, uh, making treatment plans. Um, I could, that's how you, you would say, I could make treatment plans. I could uh, give uh, individual and family therapy. Um, I could work in retail. I could uh, check cu out customers. I could make schedules. I could... Um, uh, uh, do inventory. So those are the job skills that I had five or ten years ago. Now, what job skills do, can uh, you do now or can I do now? Now that's changed because I uh, went to class and learned how to be a teacher. So ten, five or ten years ago, I couldn't do these things, but now I can. So what jobs can I do now? I can uh, write lesson plans, I can teach classes, I can 
make tests and uh, quizzes, right? So those are the ones that I can do now. So five or 10 years ago, I couldn't teach a class. I couldn't make lesson plans. And I uh, couldn't make tests and quizzes, right? So um, anyway, so there's a, if you want to, um, on a sheet of paper or whatever, uh, write, jot down those questions and write your answers. Or if you want to type them out and send them to me at my email, I will look over them. But those are um, good ways to practice the job skills vocabulary, as well as getting in practice with can and can't, could and couldn't. Okay, so this is the end of um, part two. And... Um, there we go. So there's the information and uh, come back and we will finish up. We will be reviewing um, chapter seven and eight for part three.